Andy Roddick may have sat out the Beijing Olympics, but he certainly wasn't sitting around. The eighth-ranked world tennis champion played in two different tennis tournaments on his home turf in preparation for the U.S. Open. I'm Kelsey Hubbard, and joining me is Andy Roddick here celebrating the 75th anniversary of Lacoste here in New York City. So before we get to the tennis, the more important thing, have you picked out your outfit yet, uh, Lacoste, uh, for uh, the tournament? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, they, they, they've sent over the clothes for, for the tournament, so, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully everyone will like it. And I know you had hurt your shoulder uh, heading into Wimbledon, but you still competed. How's it feeling now? How did it hold up in those tournaments you played in? And uh, will it be a factor for you in the U.S. Open? I, I should be okay. It's getting better all the time. Uh, you know, I, I probably played Wimbledon when I shouldn't have, but it's Wimbledon, so you, you, you do that. But, uh, you know, it's been a... It's, it's been a a little, little bit of a tough go. I haven't really had to deal with uh, injuries too much during my career, so it's been a little bit of a, a new thing for me. But uh, I feel good, and uh, I've been practicing full out, so hopefully it'll be okay for the Open. And uh, you won in 2003, U.S. Open champion. And ever since then, fans and tennis critics and, and analysts have been uh, really watching your career and seeing uh, where you'll go. Well, what are you hoping for this year? What would be a real success for you? It's a matter of getting through those first couple of matches. You know, you got to give yourself a chance. You know, you, you can't win a tournament in the first week, but you can certainly lose it. And uh, I, I think that's the way the, you know, a lot of the seated players will look at it. So right now, I'm just, uh, I, I want to get through the, the first week, and then uh, then we can get to the business portion if, if that happens. And who do you think is your toughest competition? I mean, uh, Rafael Nadal just won the gold medal over in uh, Beijing. Obviously, Federer is, uh, is, is a tough one to beat. So uh, who do you think is going to be the biggest challenge? Well, I, I think Rafa has played the best this year, and I don't, I don't know if uh, anyone would dispute that, but uh, I think Roger's won this uh, four times in a row. So that, you know, it's his title until someone, uh, someone takes it from him. And what do you think is the best, uh, strongest part of your game right now? Um, what are you hoping really comes through for you? And uh, what do you think will be the biggest challenges out there? Well, when, when I serve well, I like my chances. You know, I, if I'm getting through service games without, uh, you know, much com much competition on that end, uh, I seem to do okay. So uh, we'll be working on that in the next couple of days. And your game's obviously strong. You're playing for a few more years, I'm sure, uh, hopefully a lot. But uh, do you think down the road after you retire from the game what you want to do? Haven't thought about it. You know, I, I think I want. I run a charitable foundation, so I definitely want to want to stay involved in that. And you know, m much past that, I haven't. I haven't really thought about it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not one to sit still, so I, I'm sure I'll I'll be looking for something. But that's not really in uh, my thought process right now. Well, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck during the U.S. Open. Right, thank you. I've been speaking with Andy Roddick in New York City. I'm Kelsey Hubbard for the Wall Street Journal Digital Network.